Hey everyone, it's Angel with Mystic Moon bringing you guys an Archangel Michael reading. And so what this reading is designed for is to basically give you some energy from Archangel Michael in regards to some challenges that you may be facing and how Archangel Michael is showing up in your life in order to help to guide you and protect you and to keep you strong and to help you transition through anything that may be challenging at this present time. So basically anything can come through this reading today. We are going to be using an outline that I've created. So this reading is available in my Etsy shop. It is a 15 minute reading. And one of the reasons that I wanted to showcase it today is because I just got a brand new piece from Wing and Bell that I requested. And this particular device is called Archangel Michael Tough as Nails. Now there's actually nails inside that organite. So this organite is basically resin with all these ingredients molded into it. I mean, look at how freaking beautiful this is. I have, th uh, I'm sorry, four other pieces. So I will be introducing you guys to each of the Archangel pieces that I had created um, throughout the next probably five weeks. So this one's gonna be the first one. So this is Archangel Michael, and I'm gonna tell you what it has in it because it's very significant. So in this particular organite, what we have here is citrine, and this is going to add, or I'm sorry, aid in your raising of your vibration. Amber is going to be used in order to clear your phobias and fears. Aluminum nails and aluminum is here to protect and shield your energy. And then we also have yellow and gold mica is to lend courage for positive movement forward. So do you see how all these ingredients play into what Archangel Michael represents for you? I mean, look at all those beautiful layers. So this is the, one of the biggest um, organites that they create at Wing and Bell. And I will go ahead and put the link in the description box below to their website so you can check it out. But yeah, my friend Michelle, I told her my vision and, you know, she came up with this. So there's definitely, um, you know, other pieces off of this creation here um, that you guys can purchase. But you guys don't need a device or anything special in order to connect with Spirit or Archangel Michael. So I'm just putting that out there now because I know that somebody's going to say, you don't need that in order to connect. You don't. But for me personally, I like a focal point. I like something that represents what Archangel Michael represents in my life and what I'm looking for him to help aid me in. And so this is just my own personal feelings about it. That just happens to work for me. If some of you guys resonate or you love, you know, these very spiritual devices, organites, if you're familiar with them, there's all kinds of amazing things that are in that to basically just kind of be a protector and I keep it by my bed. And so I just feel, I don't know, I just feel really attached to it and I feel really good when it's, when it's uh, near me. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll I'll take the flat piece on the bottom and I'll literally just put it straight up to my heart, you know, in times of just challenge and stress. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm going to be doing this Archangel Michael spread, not only because I just received this beautiful piece, but because I wanted to um, also let you guys know I offered this reading in my Etsy shop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and we will follow the outline that I created. So it's a shorter reading and um, there's not a lot of cards. It's very simple, but hey, you know what? Sometimes less is more. So the very first thing that we're going to focus on is what does Archangel Michael want you to know at this moment? And I'll let you guys know what I'm using Oh, geez. Come on, peaches. You see this? Look at this. Come on. All right. Sorry, you guys. Cats are in the background. They want to be a part of the reading. Um. Anyways, if you guys are interested in what I'm using, it'll be in the description box below. All right. So the very first thing that we're going to tap into, and I'm actually going to put these up here. Just kind of keep them off of the table. And we're going to just pick a card from each one. What is the very first thing that Archangel Michael wants you to know at this particular time? Wow, let go of fear now. I mean, yes, of course, right? So this is saying here, Archangel Michael, this is like a prayer. Please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. So it could be, you guys, that some of you are really feeling down at this point. You're really feeling just kind of toxic. It may not even be your own energy. This could be the energy of another person. And so this could be some of the ingredients in this particular organite could be something Thing that you could pick up in order to help yourself to protect yourself and so um, there could be a special message there for you as well but this could just be your own thoughts sometimes when we're dealing with toxic energies and toxic people we start to feel negative we start to feel like low vibrational right and so what we got to do is we got to let go of that fear now so let's go ahead and get some tarot just to kind of get some clarifiers on how you know this is playing out perhaps for some of you this is called the spirit song tarot we have the queen of swords. Dang. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm actually going to pick three because I want the cards to kind of play off of each other. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
So what I'm getting, you guys, uh, there could be two, actually, there could be three different personalities coming through here, okay? Because these are not minor arcanas, and they this is a court card. The queen of feathers is the queen of swords. So you could literally be dealing with a feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. That's an air sign. Um, this is going to be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But again, the signs, it doesn't have to be. I also have temperance, which represents Sagittarius, and I have the chariot that represents Cancerian people. So there's some signs that are popping up, you guys. So if you guys are dealing with any of these types of personalities, or this is your sign, um, there may be something significant to this. But what I'm getting with that Queen of Swords energy is the Queen of Swords energy, even though it is a positive energy when used in the correct way, it can sometimes be used in a negative way. The Queen of Swords doesn't take any crap from anybody. She basically just tells people what's on her mind. She's more, um, she's operating more in her life logical, practical mind space than she is from her heart space. Now, that doesn't mean that the Queen of Swords doesn't have a heart. There may be a reason why, why she has to be in this energy, okay? Tough as nails. That's the name of this device. Do we need to step into our Queen of Swords energy? Do we need to in order to let go of this fear? We can speak our truth. We can, you know, lay down that sword of justice and take that sword and cut anything out of our lives that are no longer serving us. The temperance card is all about balance and healing and patience and just kind of waiting for something to temper out. So it's not necessarily an energy that's really a forceful energy. So I feel like what the advice of this card here is that we do need to let go of fear that we can't speak our truth, but we can speak it in a way that's balanced. We can take a look at the other people that are involved in the situation perhaps and just kind of see that maybe not everybody is operating within their you know, highest selves. I mean, sometimes people, uh, you know, that are really good people are operating out of their ego, okay? Because this is definitely ego-based uh, thinking. And that, that could also be us as well. So this is something about maybe not taking action immediately and just kind of, you know, focusing more on your own thoughts and not taking things personally and really just trying to see very clearly of what's going on. See the, see the truth in the situation. You don't need to put up with any crap, but you can do it in a way that doesn't need to be, um, you know, coming out of a place of fear, coming out of a place of ego, of attack, and that sort of thing. So also, if you're dealing with somebody that's coming at you in this way, what Spirit is saying, again, is to try not to react so hard or harshly at this particular time. Stand in your truth. Stand in your integrity. You may need to take a break from somebody. That's also the temperance's energy, kind of pulling back, taking a break, allowing things to balance out first. And then now we have the chariot, which is about determination to carry forward and to move move on. So what I'm getting here is that there's going to be success for those of you that are, you know, uh, resonating with these messages so far. You are going to be successful in whatever it is that is plaguing you, whatever that is stressing you out at this particular time. If you guys are up up against like a bullying type of person, this energy is going to fade from your life. You're going to be able to move forward unscathed, untouched. Might not be today, but this is an energy here where we, if we don't participate, we just kind of let people just kind of, you know, fizzle out. Then this energy of calm and balance and harmony and basically being able to move forward successfully is going to come. Victory is going to save the day. And I'm just seeing that victory is going to go in your favor, whoever's watching this video. So let's go ahead and get into these shamanic medicine healing cards and just kind of get some advice. These cards wanted to come out, but there's too big of a chunk. So I just feel like I just want to grab one card. So I'm just going to grab it just like this. We have four-legged endurance. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Look at all those spirit animals. Look, there's also, there's a rhinoceros right here. We also have, um, I guess that's a bull maybe. <laughs> um, that's a horse, I believe. We have a buck, like a deer. We have a wolf. We have a tiger. We have, I think that's a sheep. So there's definitely some spirit animals that are coming through, but literally we have endurance, determination, and now we have endurance. So no, we have endurance, determination, and discipline. Sorry, you guys, I repeated a word. So yes, I mean for sure. So spirit is, is basically just saying, 
that to, you know, just kind of tap into that part of yourself that you might really want to take the bull by the horns. You might really want to just basically give somebody a piece of your mind. And that's not necessarily saying that you can't, but make sure that you do it out of integrity. Make sure that you do it in that balanced, harmonious energy. You're going to get further in a situation if you don't lose your head, if you don't overreact. You know, you got to let go of your own fears. Maybe you have this fear that there's some sort of injustice happening to you in a situation or that you're not able to speak your truth. What I am getting is that you can step into your truth. You can cut out baloney and crap that's no longer serving you, but you can do it in a different way. You don't have to do it in a way that you're coming from fear and that you're overreacting or that you're going to actually end up looking worse than you really, you know, are. You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes we get so pushed uh, uh, with certain things and certain people that we actually are coming from a good place, but we end up looking like the problem or the bad guy in the situation. So I kind of feel that this energy is here for some of you. And what Spirit is saying, just be determined to stay on your own path. Try not to allow others, the energy of other people, take you off of a path that you know is right for you, or just that you're in alignment with the integrity and if everybody else around you isn't in alignment, that's on them. That's not you. Try not to let people deter you off of your path right now. Stay in your power, stay focused on your mark, and you will get there. But it might be that you need to kind of, you know, temper this energy back and forth and just kind of pull away or disconnect here and there in order to get to that point. So that's what we have, you guys, for the very first message coming through. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here at the second portion, which is how is Archangel Michael guiding you to overcome these problems and challenges at this perf or at this time? I don't know why I can't talk. Okay, so what Archangel Michael is telling you, the advice, you are on the right path. You are on the right path. The prayer says, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and fulfilling me with this courage and confidence to make beautiful life changes. So that's the thing, you guys. When we're up against changes, when we're up against challenges, I mean, we might question our path and say, I don't actually think this is the right path. There's too many red flags. There's too many problems. There's too many challenges. And this is the thing. Sometimes, of course, you got to trust your intuition that maybe that is a red flag that you're not on the right path. But in this particular instance, you guys, there is hardship for a reason. There is something that is helping us to learn something about ourselves, to actually Actually, you know, prove to ourselves just how strong we truly, truly are. So you are on the right path, Archangel Michael is saying, and that's the specific thing that he wants to bring to you about these current challenges or issues that you are facing. So let's get some tarot on this. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles, you guys. So this could be Earth sign individuals. Oh my gosh, and we have the King of Pentacles. We have a couple here. Oh my gosh, and we have the tower. Wow. Okay. So earth sign individuals are coming through very strong, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But again, just because you may not be those signs or dealing with those signs, these messages absolutely are still going to apply to you. I just like to mention that. But the tower, bam, this is about releasing. This is about revelation. This is about a major shift and a change. So if you've been in a stagnant situation or a standoff with another individual, Individual, especially if you're a female and you're dealing with a masculine energy or vice versa, there's about ready to be some sort of a huge shift and change in perception and the situation. There's going to be some sort of revelation. Something is going to happen. Now, when I see the tower, this is very much about divine intervention. So again, what Archangel Michael is telling you with this particular energy here is that as far as overcoming your problems and challenges, the divine is going to intervene at this point. Something is going to change. Something is going to happen. But again, we might not be seeing these changes. We might not be seeing these things happening. We might be seriously just feeling so freaking depleted and just so like, ugh you know, in our lower vibrational energies because we're getting filled with all this doubt and fear. But what spirit is saying is we got to keep going. We are stronger than we think that we are. So let's go ahead and get some advice from these medicine cards. D. 
deflection bells. Okay, exactly. So this is an energy here. So obviously reflection, like we're looking at ourselves, we're examining ourselves. When we have deflection, that just means that we are deflecting something away from ourselves. Why are we doing this? We're doing this for a couple of reasons. We're deflecting because we're trying to protect ourselves, but we're also sometimes deflecting because we don't want to deal with something. So if you've been in a situation or a standoff with an individual that you have had hardships and issues with, what's happening here is they are just deflecting. And so this is one of the reasons why the energies earlier with temperance is that the way to deal with this person in this situation might, might just be to give them time to withdraw, to not participate in whatever it is that they're actually projecting onto you. So this is about deflecting anything that they're sending your way, deflecting any kind of lower vibrational energies that they may be in that are that is now affecting you. And so we're deflecting this with this bells. The bells are, I feel, feel like representation of, you know, breaking up energy, you know, literally just sound, using sounds to break up energy that may be kind of hovering around us, clearing those thoughts that we're telling ourselves, those, those fear-based thoughts or thinking. So there's definitely an opportunity to deflect something that somebody may be projecting onto you, but they're doing it because they're in their own fear. They're in their own just kind of situation in their headspace. So we need to allow this person to come to their own revelation so that way they can release something that is no longer serving them. So that way we may get back onto the track of this connection heal this connection and get moving on this, you know, moving forward, positive movement forward and success. Wow. So I just really feel like what spirit is saying here, what Archangel Michael is trying to communicate in this particular uh, phase of the reading is that this is one of the biggest challenges of the reading. This is something that he's very much focused on working with you at this present time, reminding you that you are on the right path, okay? That there is success down the road when it comes to this situation, that you will survive this situation. But you've got to allow this other person to come to their own conclusions and realize that if they're deflecting it right now, it is because they can't handle something about themselves right now. They don't want to work on it. So the tower card just says that until this is released, this is just something that's still going to be kind of in that tempered energy. I really see that temperance as energy is two cups of two people. I really feel like this is the couple right here. Two cups and just that angel as an Archangel Michael tempering these energies back and forth, helping these people to see, helping these people to become aware and to heal and to absorb the lessons instead of deflecting these lessons, you guys. Oh my gosh, what a powerful reading. I know it's very small reading, but simple, but yet so powerful and beautiful. I just love it. So the next portion of this reading goes into something hidden that Archangel Michael wants to bring to your attention, okay? So these might be things that we're unaware of or things that we may be deliberately just kind of trying to block out. Yeah, look at that, shield yourself. <laughs> we're trying to shield ourselves from some sort of situation or maybe something we might be trying to shield ourselves because we don't want to get hurt. So this says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with the day and night and keep my loved ones safe. Name specific people or situations. Okay, so I'm going to actually draw some tarot before I even start getting into this message here. Wow. Oh my gosh. We have so much earth energy coming through this reading, you guys. So not only does that tell me that some of you may be earth sign or signs or dealing with earth signs, this just means also if it's not that, that there's a lot of energy that's like in the 3D world, okay? There's things that are actually taking place, tangible things that we are basically shielding ourselves or trying to protect ourselves from getting hurt by these things that are either coming at us in the 3D world. So when I see the page of crystals and the ace of crystals, which is the page and the ace of pentacles, this is an offer. This is the start, the chance to start something new and tangible, to actually do something of the 3D world. And this night, it's almost like this is the night that is bringing it to the situation. 
I have energies here. I have somebody with their thoughts about what they want to do, and this is the pentacle that they're holding, and this knight is the actual person that's delivering it to you. Now, the crystals, the uh, pentacles energy, the knight of pentacles is one of the slowest moving energies in the tarot. So again, this is not a super rushed thing. It's not a super rushed energy. Steady wins the race, though. So this is somebody who needs time. This is somebody who is really thinking about what they want before they come towards you. So what I'm also getting from Spirit, too, is that we might be so much in our headspace about just in that fear-based thinking of this person, how they'll never change or they're never going to come back around or they're never going to mature. Or they're never going to be able to do this or do that. We're never going to have this happiness that we either are looking for, whether it's with them or someone else, like a new person. We're actually kind of blocking ourselves at this point is what Archangel Michael is saying. We're, we're too busy shielding ourselves and trying to protect ourselves to where these opportunities are now popping up in our world, but somehow we're getting up in our own headspace and our own ego and our own fear-based thinking. And so what we're doing is we're, we're almost like trying to cut off the abundance that's trying to flow to us. And so we're, tr we're too busy trying to protect ourselves that we're not participating in what's in front of us. And we really need to. So, you know, again, if you feel that you need to shield yourself and protect yourself against a specific person because you want something else in your life, please take the message as that way. But I'm getting for most of you watching this video, you may have been very hurt. You may have been just like a lot of things have not worked out for you. So now you're very leery moving forward. And so what you might be unaware of is that, yes, I want these things, universe, bring these things to me. But then our own fear-based thinking, it's kind of like it's standing in the way of that flow. So we think that we want something and we do, but at the same time, it's like, wait a second, but we're almost getting in our way in order for it to actually show up. So the thing is, you guys, what, Spirit, what Archangel Michael is saying here is that these things may be presented to you, but you're like too busy protecting yourselves to even see it or notice it when it shows up. So you want to make sure that you change that energy. And for others, this energy may be available to you right now. And so what Spirit is saying is to trust it. You are on the right path. Open yourself up to this new opportunity. Walk through these doors. You are protected. You may be so busy trying to protect yourself, but what Archangel Michael is saying, I got you while you move through these new doors. So trust in that. Okay. Yep. Oh, wow. Transmigration, death. Look at this. There's literally the old. It's like the death of the old and the beginning of the new. So if this is about a particular person, I'm not saying, you know, all's got to be forgiven and, and, and you, know, you got to forget the actions of this person. No, you may need to work through certain situations. But if you really want something new with someone, yet you're not sure if you can trust them and there's things that are holding you back. We've got to let the past go. We either have to move forward or we're going to stay stuck. We can't protect ourselves. Sometimes we just have to take a chance and we have to trust that everything that's going to happen is going to happen for a reason. So if some of you are holding back on starting something new or taking a risk or a chance, whether it be a project, whether it be with a particular person, you've got to let the past go. You need to move forward. This is a new opportunity. This is new energy. You've got to trust that or you're gonna stay in the old and you're never gonna be able to transition into the, uh, that new experience, okay? And for others, if this is something where, you know, you're just really wanting to cut off old energy and you're wanting to go towards the light, it, exactly, you need to do just that. It's time to leave the past behind so that way you can go towards things that are better suited for you, things that are solid, things that are waiting for you. Because what I see waiting for you, you guys, is something that's really stable, really solid, and something that you can trust. I mean, this lineup is ridiculous to me at how amazing that is. I mean, when you're thinking about the future and you're thinking about things that are in store for you, because remember, this is also about Archangel Michael telling you what you're not aware of. What you're not aware of is this beautiful future that's in front of you. So if you feel like you've lost hope that you're never going to be able to get that opportunity, get that job, have that abundance, have that partner, that committed partner, you're wrong. It's on the horizon for you. But again, you've got to get out of this old energy and go towards the light because that's what's waiting for you, you guys. 
So stop trying to cut the supply off. Stop trying to cut this flow off with your fears and your thoughts, which of course you have every right to feel, but at some point we got to transmute this energy so we can go towards a new situation and a new experience. We can't stay stuck in the old. So Archangel Michael is telling you, you know, you don't have to do all the work. Call on me, call on your angels. We got you while you go through this transition. Wow. All right, you guys, this is the last portion of the reading. Archangel Michael's blessing of protection and love for your future. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh my gosh, detach from the situation. Exactly. I love this card because it is literally telling you, you just got to detach from the outcome. You've got to detach from the result at this point. You can't move forward thinking to yourself that, you know, if I move forward, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this doesn't happen? You've got to literally move forward fearlessly. You just have to. You got to just cut. You got to just detach. Detach from whatever it is that's no longer serving you. We've got to let go of something that we've got to let go of either a belief system about a certain person or a certain situation, or we just simply have to leave somebody behind in order to transmute into new energy. Okay. So I'm going to read here what this says. It says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flame flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. So it's almost about Two, detaching from drama and other people's energies, people's energies that may be kind of clouding your energy. This is about doing like a, maybe even a cord cutting or some sort of a body cleanse or keeping crystals nearby or doing a sage or salt cleansing or something like that to just kind of purify your energy. You might be an empath and you're just really absorbing everyone's energies right now. So this is saying you got to detach from the situation, see it from a higher perspective. You know, just again, and allow your spirit team in order to aid you and help to guide you during this particular time of either transition or challenge and hardship. So let's go ahead and get some messages on this. Oh, wow. The two of cups, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have the queen of wands now. Love it. And we have the nine of crystals. This is so beautiful. And I'm going to tell you why. Detach from the situation and just focus on yourself. I love the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is that energy where somebody is just focusing on their own coins. They're doing their own thing. They're working on themselves. They're working on bettering themselves for their own situation and their own life. And guess what? They're in that queen of acorns, which is the queen of wands energy. I love the queen of wands. She's my favorite queen. She's the queen. And she doesn't mean she's better than any of the other queens. She's just somebody who is definitely in her power. She's radiating this confidence, this vibration of just, you know, insp she's inspiring others because her energy is so amazing. Do you see what I'm saying, you guys? The queen of acorns could be a fire sign individual. Uh, this is going to be a fiery signs, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I couldn't say that. And then we have the two of cups. God darn it. Come on, peaches. He's pushing this. Sorry, you guys. So the queen of uh, wands, we have two of two of cups. Sorry, you guys. I, I, I just hate that this is now not center, but it is what it is. <laughs> Gotta love the cats. So yeah, detach from whatever it is that seems to be holding you back from getting this two of cups energy. So for some of you, this may very well be that you are wanting a connection with someone in particular or just someone in the future, somebody that is better suited for you. So what's what Archangel Michael is saying is detach from the outcome of how this is going to happen. Detach from the person that may be frightened at this time and they're only projecting fear your way. Detach. Don't take it personally. Focus on you. Do you be in your own power. And this is an energy here that attracts harmonious people that want to be a part of your life. Everything that is meant for you is going to come to you. Why? Because you are in vibration with yourself. You're in alignment with yourself. You're in alignment with spirit and you have that strength and that courage to basically kick, to, wow, to carry on. And when you carry on, you're not in the past. You're not living in the past. You're not operating from old energy. You're in new freaking energy. You're creating your future. That's what you're doing. You're manifesting. So let's get one last message here. 
knowing stone people. Yeah, this is about drawing upon the energy of your ancestors, you know, the, the stones that have been here from the very beginning of time, okay? So it's kind of like this energy of what always has been will always be, you know, the laws of the universe, the laws of nature, just knowing, knowing that everything that is meant for you is already predetermined. Now, that doesn't mean you have no power at all when it comes to your life, but it's this inner knowingness that everything is going to happen for you in the, in the right timing, as in divine timing, and everything that is meant for you is going to show up at the right time as long as you are in alignment with it. So this is a time for you to get in alignment with yourself, to get in alignment with the things that you want. And if what it is that you want is companionship or harmony with others, you are going to have that success. So I just feel like this whole reading was based upon self-empowerment, which is what Archangel Michael is all about. And it's all about you surviving a situation or a person or just your own fears and your own thoughts because you are going to get to your end mark. And you, when you do, it's going to be a success. There's definitely something beautiful with all of that ace of pentacles and page of pentacles energy. You have worked hard and you are going to make your mark. That is what I'm getting for this reading. So I hope that it resonated with you guys. If you guys didn't care for the style of reading, no problem. I obviously do all types of other readings, but this is something that's available on my Etsy shop. It's a little bit of a shorter version of this. It's 15 minutes and um, yeah, just, you know, check it out. I'll go ahead and link that also in the description box below. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.